The Taiwanese Embassy's Information and Communication Technology in Education Development Project has been in place for the past three years, and during that time, it has equipped over 25 schools on the island with technical resources and smart classrooms, while also training teachers to effectively utilize these tools. The purpose of the smart classrooms is to improve learning at the various schools by utilizing widescreen monitors, conferencing technology, and a variety of other software developments. Parliamentary Secretary in the Ministry of Education, Senator Honorable Dr. Pauline Antoine Prosper, thanked the Taiwanese government for their incredible work in ICT within the schools and the millions spent by the Asian nation in equipping St. Lucian students with the skills necessary in the current technological world business environment. It is expected that learning will become versatile, fun, and innovative. It is no longer chalk and talk. Students can enjoy interactions with teachers, classmates, and other interest groups. There are no longer boundaries to their learning. This is what the Ministry of Education had in the plan, and we achieved it, achieved it despite the hardships that COVID brought upon us. Permanent Secretary in the Department of Education, Innovation and Vocational Training, Michelle Charles, says the Taiwanese government enabled the ministry to achieve its education reform strategy of integrating technology into education in line with international norms and standards. Ambassador, kindly extend our gratefulness to your government, the ICDF and our friends at your embassy for working alongside us to move our education system along a continuum that will put us on par with the rest of the world. Thank you for supporting our vision for the integration of information and communication technologies in education. Taiwanese Ambassador His Excellency Peter Shen expressed his country's delight at the opportunity to collaborate with St. Lucia in reforming education. He is optimistic that St. Lucia will continue to make the full shift to integrating technology into its educational system thanks to the intervention. And every time when I visit this school, I can tell from the energy and excitement of school faculties and students that they enjoy the new equipment and they are ready to step into a digital and fast-changing world. Therefore, in connection with the project policy adopted in our prior implementing agreement, the ICT in Education project is ready to transfer to the government of St. Lucia. The initiative, funded by the Taiwan International Cooperation and Development Fund, ICDF, also provided over 400 tablets and over 300 Chromebooks to schools across the island. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology, and Vocational Training, I am Chris Satney, reporting.